Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel today. I have a long awaited, long awaited haul, but it's oldies but goodies and I will explain that as I go along as well. So I'm just back from my Texas Triangle road tripping with my friend Ramona, a Ramona Talk here on YouTube as well. Um, she has an Instagram channel as well. A lot of you guys were following us along on either one of those social media outlets and we thank you both very much. It was a lot of fun. She is good people. She is so sweet and let me stay at her house for all those nights and traveled with me and we've seen it all. Like again, you just had to follow our Instagram or follow our each other's channels to know we had quite the adventure and we met some awesome and amazing people all along the way. You know, people I've been chatting with for so long, other YouTubers. It was so, so awesome. So I'm going to give you a little background on this haul. My friend Heather and I, who we kind of some, we used to, we've been really good as you probably are aware. I don't haul a lot lately. Um, I really haven't, other than advent calendars, I really haven't hauled since about June, July of last year. But with that said, Heather and I, we were at one point hauling, you know, going together on restocks and such, and I would always just wait for a box to be filled. Anyway, so Heather and um, she, she knew I was going to, um, to Texas, so she just, which was so sweet of her, she just mailed off my, it was a smaller box, but like mailed it off to Ramona, which was so nice. It saves me oodles and oodles of money um, shipping over to Canada and then the, you never know if you're gonna get customs. So with her, um, she picked out, we went together on a BAM bag pre-order from God knows when. I'm only putting dates on it from the day like I got home. So if, you'll see if I wrote dates on things, if I wrote them, it was from the day I got back from my trip. Um, some Yankee candles from the fall from 2018 uh, and some, 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 some sensationals. And then when I met up with Things I Love 86, Sarah up in or down or over, over in San Antonio, um, she was so sweet. She came to our hotel room. We had a, only a quick um, chat for a few minutes because she, she had her uh, some family and stuff like that and like plus the hotel. She <laughs> wouldn't let her park there very long, which kind of sucks. But anyway... Um, so she has also saved boxes that I just, because Vintage Chic Sense does not ship outside of the United States, um, I would order either with Sarah or I would order and just send it to Sarah. And again, there was, um, she sent the loaves a while ago, like I gave her money, she sent the loaves to, to me. And this way it was so much cheaper and I made sure I had room in my luggage, which by the way was 45 pounds. That wasn't even my carry-on. That was my luggage and a lot of it was wax. Um, uh, cause I didn't really buy anything while I was away except for wax. Hmm. Anyway, uh, so she brought a huge extra large priority international box full of things that, um, the other things I, I hadn't, um, you know, I just, I felt bad, but she was really cool about it. Like I just, I'm like, Hey, you can keep my wax. Like I really don't need it. Like I'm not like hovering to see when shipments come i'm in canada i and things just don't roll that fast up here and i you know i am very patient you will see when i show you my vintage chic sense haul here that a lot of these items were poured in either march or february of 2018 so guess what they are perfect for melting now and i want to apologize for my nails i really want to get this up and put away and my appointment for my nails isn't for another um till tomorrow and that isn't even two weeks growth and it's my nails grow super fast as well as my hair all right we're gonna start with vintage chic scents sorry it took four minutes to get there so sarah also sent me over some really cool like um one company is totally new to me and that's Emp empire alchemy and this is in princess cake it's raspberry jam toasted pistachio almond marzipan yellow sponge cake and whipped cream and this is very nice oh man i will say that i get a lot of the on the bottom or the top i do get a lot of the well what they say is marzipan um well pistachio sorry pistachio and like pistachio for me can either and not many others it can either go like more nutty or it will go cherry and this definitely is cherry but actually it's quite nice and I might mix it if I can remember with some fizzy pop and I think that might be really good a nice fizzy kind of thing so but this is really good so thank you very much Sarah for um allowing me to try that 
And then from the same company, Al Al Empire Alchemy, I've got Comfort and Joy, and this is Wood Smoke Black Coffee Cream and Marshmallow. And let me tell you, this smells amazing. This smells so good. Smells awesome. There's just a nice little bit, and I think it cracked in when I brought it home, so I'm gonna be putting this in my basket to melt ASAP. I don't want to forget about it, and so, because that, that wasn't there. She, did, she didn't give it to be cracked. I cracked it, obviously, within it coming all the way back to Canada with me, so anyway, that I'm looking forward to, to um, melting as well. And then, if you follow Sarah, Things I Love 86, on her Instagram, you'll see she posted a picture of me and her son, and we are like smelling, and I swear, he loves this one because he kept handing me this specific one, so that means to me that he probably likes this over all the other ones we were like huffing, basically. So this is from Hayden Rowe, and it's called Sugar Cookie, and it smells absolutely divine. Oh yeah, it smells so good. It's got a little bit of spice in it, but not too much. So I'm also looking forward to, this is a good bakery, good, really good on cold, good bakery scent. So again, looking forward to that. All right, so then let's, let's go on to Vintage Chic. Like I said, there were three orders I made. So thank you, Sarah, very much for um, sending me all three of the samples. But um, this one, and I, I just basically came home and I've just written a scent note descriptions for what I could. This one is not on, now I understand that she's got the scent notes written on the stickers now, which is fantastic, but um, Candy Cane Lane was never added to her website. At least I looked and I couldn't find it. But really it's just pepper, it's a peppermint vanilla, um, you know. So, and you can see the pour date, look at that. It was December of 2018, so that was fair. Oh, wait a second, I think Sarah, Sarah gave me this one. Because my orders that I placed were like February and March of 2018. So this is poured December. So Sarah, thank you. You just, I just figured that out. Thank you very much. And you'll see this later. I actually hauled this in a bigger quantity, but obviously it was in two different uh, restocks. So this is Happy Days. And this is Apple Mango Tango and Clean Cotton. And let me tell you, oh my gosh. And I will say this, when I went through TSA, uh, on the American side in Houston to come over to fly to Calgary and then Calgary to Victoria, which is closest to my home. I got, of course, everywhere I went, I got pulled over because my, my bag, my carry-on was full of wax. It always, they always thought it was food. The TSA guy, he was an older gentleman, very, very sweet, pulled me aside, pulled my little bag, well, my little bag, it was probably about 20 pounds worth of wax, but pulled it aside. And, you know, he's all inquisitive, you know, he's very serious at first. And then he's opening, he's like, oh my gosh, this smells amazing. And let me tell you, he was like, this is wax that you smelt in your house? I said, yes. I told him I had a YouTube channel and that I don't get a lot of these scents. A lot of the things on the top were from Swan Creek. Anyway, he was like, oh my gosh. And I got him to smell the Swan Creek's Cafe Au Lait, which is coffee. And then he had to pull another TSA agent, a female over. And he's like, you've got to smell this. I'm like guys it's at Bucky's <laughs> and I think I just made two more wax enthusiasts <laughs> at the TSA that was awesome <laughs> and then he was like okay ma'am you can here you go I'm like thank you sir <laughs> all right moving on we've got Gilligan's Island which is Bahama Fizz Pineapple and again look at these poor days right like they're March they're February that kind of thing and then what I did is I bought the the coffee Dahlia Quartet so I purchased in the or yeah quartet. So there's quartets four, right? Yeah, quart. Anyway, Jackie O's cup of Joe. So I've got marshmallow birthday cake, vanilla bean Noel, and I'm gonna say cup of Joe. I couldn't find specifically, nor could I find this grouping on her website for a scent note description. I assume that it's marshmallow bir birthday cake, vanilla bean Noel, and coffee, and it's very nice. It's very rich and creamy. Very nice and rich and creamy. I would say that the coffee is definitely on cold, probably lower than all the other sweetnesses that come with it. This is Aunt Kathy's Ultimate Coffee, which is Cinnamon Dolce Hazelnut Cream Espresso. So again, these are big dahlias, which I do cut up in quarters. I think that's fair. Yeah, definitely hazelnut. I definitely get the hazelnut and the coffee and behind that. So that's also very nice. These are gonna be uh, chopped up in quarters 
and I will likely melt these ones on my days off on weekends just because I'm, that's what I love is I melt cho or chocolate, no, um, I melt coffee scents on weekends. Then we have breakfast at Tiffany's. Again, look at the pour days. These are all the dahlias were poured in March. Almond cream cheese croissant hot coffee. Now this is probably not my favorite of the, of the bunch. It's again, it's got that kind of cherry smell. I don't smell the cream cheese on cold. I'm not a fan of cream cheese, but I did get the dahlias just, you know, cause I wanted to try it. This is an oldie, I not oldie, but it's not old, but this is Cafe Reggio, Reggio. What I'm trying to say is I have, I bought a whole loaf in it and I've cut it up. I will say I like it, Cafe Mocha and Marshmallow. I like it, but it's not my favorite coffee. And I realize that now because I've melted the loaf and since obviously I purchased this back a year, over a year ago. Um, I don't find it's very strong in coffee. So I kind of feel like I need more coffee. So I might have to blend more coffee, like cafe cream pops or something. All right, let's get into some of the bigger bags here from Vintage Chic Scents. And I'm gonna try my best not to annoy you guys with opening up bags. And I didn't think about doing that before. Um, <laughs> but I am going to show you. Oh, this smells so amazing. Julia's Cafe, again, look at the pour date. And this is Orange Sherbet Satsuma Tangerine Whipped Cream Fresh Pick Strawberries. Oh my God, you guys, this is amazing. This smells like an Orange Julius. <laughs> this is the color combination that's in there. So you've got small coins, larger coins, and then of course this and I, um, this big rose. And I think that's it for the, for the sizes on this one. Yeah, it looks to me that that's about it. This one smells, you guys, I feel like I need a fresh squeezed uh, glass of orange juice because that is absolutely spectacular on cold and I think it's good and ready to go. Perfect timing because it's spring and I love Satsuma and orange for springtime as well. All right, and the next one is Happy Days and Happy Days is described as apple, mango, tango and clean cotton. So we've talked about this before because I received a sample in it as well. Oh my goodness. Also really cool colors too, I will say. Very cool. And again, same kind of mixture. We've got big coins, we've got little coins. And then we have um, uh, the butter yellow and like a mint green in color. And there's, I guess there's bigger coins in this. And they're also in yellow. And then there's these roses also in this color as well in there. And it's, oh my gosh, you guys, I am making a mess of my table. I cannot wait. It smells beautiful if it smells anything like it does on cold when i warm it i am in so much trouble because if she put she does that one again i am so gonna need like a a lot grandma's pink pearls marshmallow lavender pink peppermint and this one i believe i've had before i can't remember if it's yeah i know i've had it before i think i may have already emptied it which is i guess is a good thing right and again, you guys know, like, this is not purchased. This is, this is a purchase I have not, I bought this back between, again, February and March of 2018, and I'm just getting them now. And I'm loving the fact that I've waited. It's such a treat. And my collection, although I've been doing, this is the big coin, by the way, and then this is the rose. And again, they are in opposite colors for each other. Um, and there are also smaller coins, but I, oh, and there's a little rose. There's, hold on, I will get it for you. There's a little bee blooming rose. That's so pretty. Anyway, I've been doing so good with per not purchasing, and I knew I've had this for a while. So I mean, basically by not purchasing, I've made room for all of this stuff. <laughs> that makes sense. So I did purchase, but it was a while ago. But I have lots of room now. All right, and then we're gonna go into some of the bags, and I got a lot of the bars, and I got one uh, Chantilly chatter. And now look at the dates on this one. This is from February of 2018, A Hard Day's Night. And that's Blackberry Watermelon Fizzy Pops. And it's just the squares, As you, I'll, I'll pull the one out. I won't pull all of the other two that are in this, these squares because they're both the same color as one another and they are in the exact same shape. But these are huge. I actually chopped these in fourths. This is really good. I love the Fizzy Pop. I love Fizzy Pop. I do find that she does a good Fizzy Pop for sure. I have had really good success with her fizzy pop. And then we have 
Lance and June's Cafe, which is vanilla lace type fresh picked strawberries. I'm gonna just sniff it. I'm not gonna pull it out because again, like I said, it's the same shape as that purple one, Hard Day's Night, and there's three of them in each. Oh my gosh, what does that smell like? Yes, strawberries and vanilla lace. It smells like, not strawberries and champagne, but like, yeah, it smells perfect. Like perfect blend of vanilla lace and strawberry. So, yay, I'm excited. Next one here, again, this is a three big squares and it's also the same color as the Lance and June's. Uh, pink twilights, twilight, pink twinkling lights. Oh my gosh. Which is pink sugar candy canes, twist, uh, toasted marshmallow, vanilla bean noel. And, sorry, I'm going on like very, I just arrived early in the morning this morning. Like I got home at 1.30 in the morning. And um, and then I just couldn't go to sleep, so I did. I unpacked and I did laundry, and finally fell asleep at 3:30, only to be woken up at 7. So, oh, this is really good. I will say I get don't get toasted marshmallow right now, but I get the pink sugar and candy cane on this one on cold. So I'm I'm interested to see if the toasted marshmallow will come out when melted. You never know. All right, and then I have a Chantilly Shatter. So if you're not familiar with her Chantilly Shatter, it's like she makes it in this, like in a mold with a really cool looking lace. And I'll show you a piece in a moment. And then when it, it's all cooled, like the wax is formed and, and that, she just sort of takes it and like, um, like, what is it? Top, uh, toffee or, anyway, it, you just chunk it up into different size pieces. So this is Father of the Bride. And this is described as a strawberry lemon curd wedding cake. And we'll get a piece out so you guys can see. And I haven't really pulled anything out yet. I've only just snipped things in the bag while I was in the hotel room, so. See, that's really pretty. Do you see some? There's just a hint of glitter, like it's nothing major, and it's just plain on the bottom. But this is, oh my gosh, this smells so good. I smell lemon for sure, and then some of the wedding cake and then strawberry on cold. So that's that. And then, not done yet, <laughs> of course not. I bought a whole pile of coins. <laughs> so I've got Helter Skelter. This is a four pack of coins. This is a smaller set of those coins that, as some of those bigger bags showed. Rosemary, mint, lavender, vanilla, and spa greens. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. I definitely get rosemary mint is my number one. That definitely stands out. And I'm, again, looking forward to trying that one. I want to hold your hand. I want to hold your hand. Clementine Fruity Pebbles whipped cream. Now, I'm not a big Fruity Pebbles fan, but everything else about it I wanted. And I'm glad I got it because the Clementine, which is orange, or a type of orange, is definitely the standout and I definitely get the, the creamy whipped cream um but I don't necessarily get the fruity pebbles but I but fruity pebbles does sort of smell that way too so maybe that's why I don't know I'm not a fruit loops fan but maybe I'm more of a fruity pebbles fan and I just didn't know it before midnight which is blackberry jam marshmallow zucchini bread oh yes blackberry anything Okay, I need to breathe out now. Oh, that smells so good. You guys, this is great. I am, I love, love this already. Oh, I can't wait to start melting now. Like it's like Christmas, right? I haven't, I haven't had these in my possession for so long and that's my own, my, my own doing and that was fine. I don't, I don't need wax. You guys all know I have enough. But my goodness, it's like Christmas to get it now. So we have Day Tripper. Marshmallow jelly filled zucchini bread donut, marshmallow birthday cake, vanilla bean noel. Part of my mistake there, I uh, half sleep here on three cups of coffee, so. Okay, so I don't get the jelly filled zucchini bread donut as much, but maybe melting, but I definitely get the cake. Definitely get a cakey note and maybe a marshmallow, I guess, but marshmallow is just so mild, it's, it's more of a mixer. This one's a little lighter, I'd say, out of all the ones that I've picked up so far. Then we have Yellow Submarine, which I've always wanted to try. I've seen Kirby put it on her website many times in many shapes and forms, uh, big, big lots and little lots, and I've never been able to get my hands on it, but I didn't want to buy a big bag of it, not sure. 
This is pineapple birthday cake. Birthday cake. Ugh. Again, I apologize for my lack of sleep. The pineapple is actually subtle in this right now, and I don't know because normally a pineapple's like if you're gonna have pineapple in the mix, pineapple tends to take over. But it's subtle right now. But I again looking forward to see what it does when it is warm. So we have tea room again. You see, you guys, like February. <laughs> So almond tea cake, orange black tea. This intrigued me. I do like a good tea scent. I definitely get an or, uh, orange cake. It says orange almond tea, almond tea cake, and then orange black tea. There's a bit of an orange. There's a bit of a, a tea note. Almond. I don't know yet. Maybe that's gonna come out again when warmed. But that's very intriguing to me. So that's where the Vintage Chic Scents ends. All right, let's move along. Let's just move over this way now, make some more room. All right, so then my, oh, so we're not done. So we're still on with Sarah, because Sarah um, so kindly allowed me to uh, send, like order and send stuff to her house again to add to the box um, of lovely waxness. Um, a Southbound Candle Co. order that, she had this big sale in the summertime. And let me just tell you, Sarah wrote down the date that she received it. She received it in July. So they're good and ready as well. And you'll probably tell by a lot of the scents as well that they are very summery. All right. So I ordered Southbound in the summer. They had like a Christmas in July. It was like 20 or 25% off. I think she does it most every year. And there were finally some scents that I really wanted um, to try. And all but one of them I'm excited about. <laughs> but this is the sample in Seaside Cotton, or sorry, Pink Seaside Cotton. Pink Sugar Fresh Ozone Clean Cotton Sheer Musk and Amber. Let's quickly open this one. Mmm, I don't get the amber at all. It smells like clean cotton, like a sweet clean cotton, which is awesome. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the one that I wanted. <laughs> I thought I was gonna love, but I'm like, oh, I don't know. But I'm not gonna be melting it probably until fall. And that's Nog Cream, which is sweet caramelized brown sugar, clove, and ylang ylang with hints of cotton candy, vanilla, and musk. It's supposed to be a lush yog nog type. Mm. As a yog nog lover, it's um, heavy. It's heavy. And I don't know how else to describe it. Maybe in the spices, it's heavy. Because I know the Yognog and I love Yognog. That's probably my least favorite of the bunch. Then we have Frosted Blackberry Cookies. And this is uh, Frosted Sugar Cookies with a dollop of Blackberry Jam. And I'm just going to open it so you guys can. The other one didn't really have a design. But there's this one here. And that's half blue, half not. This does smell really good. Oh, this, this Blackberry, if it warms as good as it smells on cold, is a rival to... Uh, in my opinion, or it'll be a rival blackberry to my super tarts blackberry. So in general, so that's very good. Then we have Southbound's pink laundry, which is pink sugar, fresh greenery, lavender, vanilla, rose, jasmine, melon, and fresh air. All right. Oh yeah. So I definitely get a pink and a laundry. Um, I guess the fresh air could almost, to me, could be a, a bit of the laundry too. I don't know. Maybe I just put those two and two, two to two, two and two together. Can't speak. I don't get jasmine. Don't get rose. Don't get a lot of lavender. Pink sugar. A little bit of greenery. Don't get melon. Laundry. Maybe that's what she does for laundry. Maybe the greenery, the lavender, the vanilla, the rose, the jasmine, and fresh air is laundry. But I get like definitely fresh air is the number one. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. I will likely melt one cube at a time in my bath my bathroom. That's what I do. I like laundry, jaws, scents, omen scents, that kind of thing in my bathroom. Oh my god, this video is long. I've been away from filming for too long. And then we have olive leaf, lemon bergamot, olive branches, and soft musk with a hint of vanilla, which is supposed to be a lush olive branch type. Again, you're looking or you know, you're looking at the thumb of a girl who likes olive branch a lot in fact I, I it's one of my favorite scents from lush it's close it's close but i feel rose girls does the olive branch better so far of olive branch types i would say rose girls and i have a million mini melters in her um olive branch type but i like this 
It's very enjoyable. It smells very similar to it, but I feel like <clears throat> my Rose Girls is a little bit mm, richer, like strong. And then next up, we have Pink Bedtime Blend. Pink Sugar, Mandarin, Lavender, Chamomile, Neroli, and Lily of the Valley. Now, I don't know why I picked this one. Like, that doesn't, you know. It smells good, but I think it's more herbal, and I don't know why I did that. Because, like, I know that unless specify was southbound, I'm not a fan of her lavender. Because unless specified that it's a sweet lavender, I try to stay away from it. But with all the other things, like the pink sugar, I thought maybe it might sweeten it. I don't get mandarin at all. Definitely some pink sugar, some lavender, lily of the valley, I guess. But um, not my favorite because, I'm, again, it's, it's the herbal lavender that gets me every time. This one is a dupe, supposed, and it is, I will say, a dupe for uh, Bath & Body Works Endless Weekend, which is one of my favorite candles for the summer. So this is, is an Endless Summer blend of raspberry, lychee, sorbet, sun-kissed magnolia, and vanilla sandalwood. This is a beautiful clam, too. And may I just add, look at that. And perfectly ready for the next couple months. This smells just like 100% like the Bath & Body Works Endless Weekend. At least on cold. I will find out, obviously, when I melt it. But that is one of my favorites. Then we have Beach Spa, Cucumber, Melon, and Salty Beach Air. Now, I, I know that there's in the wax community, you're either a cucumber fan or you're not, or you're a melon fan or you're not, or you like both, which I do, or you like neither. <laughs> it's one of those things, right? Mm, and it's green on the bottom, blue on the top. I definitely get more of the melon. I definitely get cucumber or melon than cucumber. Salty Beach Air, I guess, would just be something in the background as a blender. Then we have Blackberry Lemon Birthday, which is blackberry jam, lemon zest, and vanilla cream blended with birthday cake. Hmm. Mm, definitely. Um, it's a, I, I think blackberry and lemon is a great combination, and this does smell really good together. So I love blackberry and lemon zest. So the zest of a lemon is obviously the like a, the rind. Mm, on a, yeah, no, this is definitely really nice on cold looking forward to seeing how that does and then i got lavender laundry fresh laundry hanging out to dry in lavender field so again i don't know what i was thinking i don't know what i was thinking it smells mostly like lavender soap to me and my nose again i just find her lavender to be very herbal i don't know what i was thinking when i ordered this but of course i'm gonna give it a shot i don't know i may just change my mind and it's had lots of cure time. All right, now that's it from when, that was in a box from Sarah, like all of this was in a box from Sarah. Um, She's been holding on to for a whole year. So <laughs> thank you so much, Sarah, I really appreciate it. Now onto some super tarts and some Walmart stuff that my friend Heather, we either, you know, shop together or what have you. First of all, I'll just talk about the super tarts. Um, Heather, she gave me the sample. I know you get one order, you get a sampler. So she gave it to me and that was very sweet of her and she saved it all this time. She really didn't have to. But there's the lollipop, Tootsie Roll, a, um, like a candy. And then my sample is The Thing. And I actually don't know, I'm gonna have to look it up. It'll be on her website, which will be easy to find. I'm a little worried, it smells kind of, I don't know. I like cornbread, but there's something funky. I don't know if it's cornbread that's in The Thing, but I'll look it up and let you know. But I don't know. Thank God I only got one cube. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so what we did is we went together on band bag pre-order. And I have let, uh, well, because Ramona had never tried Beauty and the Beast. So we melted it one night when we were at her house. When we got back from our trip, we melted it. <clears throat> and she, and I'm like, you're gonna love it. She totally loved it. So I made sure that I sent her home, or sent her home. I left some at her house for her to melt down the road. Because Super Tarts is super strong. Really, one of these cubes would last you probably two days on the warmer. But in this particular pre-order, and again, I only write the dates on the top of the dates that I received the wax. Like, I, I just wrote the date that I came back from my trip. But I know this is from, like, probably June or something. Doesn't matter. But this is Beauty and the Beast, which is sweet blackberries and magically delicious. So, again, this is the bag that's kind of gone a little bit because I gave some to Ramona because she's never tried it. And now she's hooked. So anyway, so love this. As you guys know, if you watched our live stream videos, you will know this. This is my absolute number one scent. 
I think, of all time because I find it just so very comforting um, to me. And when I have really special people like my family coming to visit or really close friends, I love putting that on just to, as a welcome. I don't know. It also makes me feel good. So there you go. If I, I love it. Then it's all good. <laughs> all right. Um, a little bit of Walmart now. This is from fall of, uh, yeah, I just wrote down the, our, my date that I brought it home, but this is um, from fall of 2018. So we've got apple pumpkin, pumpkin pie, and luscious pumpkin truffle. Trifle? Trifle. Um, they're a little sweeter. Yeah, the pumpkin trifle, I was hoping for more, like, but it's a lot of cinnamon. This one, pumpkin pie, again, a lot of cinnamon. And I've had the candle from Yankee Candle in in the um, apple pumpkin and I really did enjoy it. So I like this one. I do remember this candle um, back when it first came out. I really did like, I did like that candle. It was one of the few that threw for me and I'm sure that this is going to throw for me as well. I was trying to straighten my camera up a little bit for you guys. So yes, I like that one very much. And then the last but not least, and then you can finally go if you haven't already. We've got Magic Spell. Now this was before, like as you can see this made in the USA. Um, this is before we knew here in Canada we were going to get it because there's we're six months behind for anything good, it seems. And even then, we only get like a third of, no, a quarter of what you guys get in the States. So I can now get this in Canada, but I'm so not disappointed in having three more in my arsenal because this is my favorite scent. Um, I love this one. I love everything Love Spell, but you know, Harry, Hayden Rowe makes my favorite Love Spell always and forever, but... Yeah, I got three more magic spells. So there you go, you guys. Like, wowie gazowie. So I brought all this home. <laughs> Plus the wax I already showed you guys that I hauled, which was other Walmart wax and, and then all those Swan Creek. So, <laughs> yeah, we're good. <laughs> all right, you guys. I'm going to pan over and just show you all the wax that, um, that was sitting there waiting for me in the last couple well, months and months between Sarah and Heather. So again, ladies, I really do appreciate the fact that you allowed me to do that. So as always, you guys be safe, take care and have fun. Bye guys.